Hey, welcome back to my channel, Ultralight Wannabe. My name is Brian. Today I'm gonna do my final video before I start posting videos on the trail. My start date's February 15th and I expect videos to start posting on the 18th or 19th of uh, February. And after that, I'll post daily videos, eight to 12 minutes just about my day and um, everything through hiking related. So today I wanna go over my pack, how I have it packed and everything that's gonna be in my pack. I'm not gonna go into super details about all the equipment because I've already done that in prior videos. So I kind of just wanted to go over how I'm carrying my gear um, and you know, if you guys have any recommendations or see any glaring mistakes that I'm making, please uh, comment below. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, I'm starting on the front of my pack. Um, this was something that my wife made me get, which is the Garmin InReach Mini. So I'll be carrying that here just like a, a lot of hikers do. I have the uh, Z-Pack shoulder pouch. Right here I have a little, just a little bandana that I'm gonna use. I decided to get a colorful one because everything else I have is like black and white. So spice it up a little bit. Inside here, right now I just have my, my uh, phone case because I'm filming on my phone, but this is where my phone will be in here. Um, over here I have my water bottle holder. I decided to go with a smaller uh, smart water bottle. I think this is uh, this is 23 ounces compared to the one liter, which is basically 33 ounces. So it's 10 less ounces. But the the taller one, when it was in here, when I was hiking, is it, it was like really close to my face, and I just didn't like it. So I'm gonna go with the smaller one. I don't think that'll be a problem with water uh, on the Appalachian Trail. So that's what I'm going with here. And my hip belt pocket here. I have my little wallet, which. I think I got on garage gear, which has some cash, ID, debit card, you know, the important stuff. I have my headlamp, which is the Nikkor NU17. I made a little modification to it, try to get as light as possible. Have, these are the uh, Enlightened Equipment uh, rain, rain mitts. Um, I received them a couple weeks ago. I've actually never used them yet. I seam seal them, they fold up obviously super, super small. And I decided to keep them in here just because I really don't want to lose them. I don't want them deep in my pack in case I need to use them if it starts raining. Uh, but, and I don't want to keep them somewhere on the outside of my pack. So I found a spot for them in here. I'm carrying this little, you know, thermometer. I'm probably gonna attach it somewhere to my pack or some somewhere else, but right now it's in there. And then, my little Swiss army knife. This one just has the knife, the file, and the scissors, tooth, toothpick, and uh, tweezers. So that's in this pocket right here. This pocket is empty right now. This will be for my snacks, drink mixes, etc. things I, I uh, wanna access often on the trail. All right, moving to the front or the back, the back of the pack. First on, on this side right here, my trekking poles. I actually really like using trekking poles when I hike, and the only time I won't use them is if the terrain or I'm walking into town or something. So most of the time I'll be using these, but if not, I'll store them here or somewhere else on my pack. These are the uh, Black Diamond trekking poles. My outside pocket here I have the uh, Enlightened Equipment Vis rain jacket. This is the Enlightened Equipment Vis rain pants. A late addition to my packing list was the black diamond um, micro spikes. Never used micro spikes before, but I since I'm starting in February and a lot of people were like, you might need these. I thought better to have them, and I'm I'll send these back when the when I realize I don't need them anymore. But I think I think I will need these, especially watching the the weather right now, like in the Smokies. I got these on Amazon. Someone messaged me and said, well, how'd you, these are four ounces. How'd you find these four ounces? I don't know, I just Google like lightweight spikes on Amazon and this is what came up. I weighed on my food scale, they come in at four ounces. So small price to pay for not slipping off the mountain. I have my camp shoes. I think these are the Mayfly sandals, the ultralight sandals. Again, I'm gonna give these a try. I don't use camp shoes as much as some other people do, so I've used these before. They work for what I need, so I'm gonna give them a try, and if they don't work for me, I'll just upgrade and get something different out there. I have my tent stakes. I already went over these in another video. 
and my poop kit, which has toilet paper, my trowel, and uh, butt wipes, I guess is that what you want to call them. All right, this pocket here is my one liter smart water bottle with my Sawyer, Scree Sawyer Squeeze water filter. Top of my pack, have the uh, Gossamer Gear 1 8 inch foam pad. Funny story about this, I could never buy one, even though I just got an email saying they're in stock now because they never had them. And I was testing out my gear at a local state park and the guy next to me came over there and he knew about ultra ultralight hiking gear and lightweight gear itself and started asking me about my tent, which is a Z-Pack and my bag and, and asked me if I had one of these. And I said, no, I can't order one. And he gave me one. He had an extra one in his truck and he's like, oh, I ordered two last time. So he gave me one. So I uh, can't remember his name, but I tried to try to compensate him, try to give him some money. He wouldn't take it. So that's one of the many reasons why I love like the hiker community. Everyone's just so nice and helpful. So uh, using that. Open it up, my bag. On top is my food bag, which I have food in it now. It's not exactly what I'm gonna take on trail, but I wanted to get a decent size to pack my bag with and a decent weight. So, um, and I had my daughter, which my uh, seven year old draw me some some stuff on the outside to uh, distinguish my bag from everybody else in permanent marker. So hopefully I won't take somebody else's food bag and someone will take mine. Have my hygiene kit here. This has like my contacts, my contact solution. I am bringing contacts out there. Um, my medicine, just the basics. At the end of this video, I'll, take, I'll have all this laid out and I'll have this stuff more laid out more so you can see exactly what I'm carrying. But this is, all hygiene and, and medical related back here. All right, then I got my tent, which is the uh, Z Pack Duplex tent. You know, I plan on keeping it in my pack as long as it's not wet. And if it's wet, I'll attach it to the outside of my pack. Here's my sleeping pad as a Neo Air X Lite. Thanks to Wandering Jay, I can't remember, I'll post his, his uh, vlog in uh, the description. But when I posted my sleep system and told him how I was packing my bag, he recommended that I put my sleep pad in a, uh, in a bag just in case it doesn't get wet. It made perfect sense to me, so I put it in this little Ziploc bag. But this kind of just finds a spot inside my pack somewhere. I use two of the Hyperlite Mountain Gear pods, the large ones, in lieu of like stuff sacks. So the, the first one going down, the second one from the bottom is clothes items. So I have my Puffy, the Enlightened Equipment Torrid. have my Melizana uh, version two uh, microgrid hoodie. Little cork ball. I get this like spot in the middle of my back where my, my muscles tighten up, and um, so I plan on using this, rolling out my shins and my calves and everything. It's I think it's a uh, well worth the couple tenths of an ounce that it weighs. My Diddy bag, which has all my electronics, my battery packs. Again, went over this in a different video, and I got this. It's in an ultralight sack. Outdoor Research Sun Hoodie. I'll be wearing one and carrying one. I'll probably start off wearing these because of, of the weather, but these are the Under Armour uh, Heat Gear Leggings. Mel is on a beanie. Buff, representing the U. So you've got the uh, Mountain Hardware, what are these? The Mountain Hardware, I guess it's gloves. Polar Tech gloves. They have the little thing on the finger so you can use your uh, phone. And uh, again, I haven't had the, the mitts in the rain yet, but I did wear these gloves with the mitts outside here in Kansas. It's been in the single digits and teens a couple days lately. It definitely 
added just protection from the wind. So these, these are good gloves, but these aren't waterproof. So I think uh, using these with the rain mitts uh, will be awesome. Two pair of darn tough, the quarter length socks, just all black. So I'm carrying two and wearing one. At one point, if you watch my videos, I was debating just wearing one and carrying one, but I decided to go with two. Um, I kind of went back and forth on shorts and I was originally gonna go with, these are like seven inch hiking shorts, these are for Under Armour. I was gonna go with ones that had like the speed shorts. I, that's their version to have the built-in um, like Under Armour liner, not just the built-in like underwear, but the liner. Um, but I did, I, I like the idea of being able to wear shorts without liner or wear liner without shorts in my tent, etc. Just the versatility of changing those in and out. So I'm going with uh, these shorts. I don't know what brand, I know what brand they are. They're Under Armour. I don't know what model they are, but they're just hiking shorts, seven inch. I cut the little um, like underwear liner out of the inside. I'll be carrying two pairs of shorts like this and three pairs of Reebok like boxes. Again, I just like to be able to, if, if I want to hike with no Under Armour on and go, I could, or, or sleep just with these on or just with shorts on, uh, I want to be able to do that. So I, that's what I ended up deciding on. So I'll be carrying two pairs of these, an extra pair of shorts and wearing a pair of shorts and one pair of the uh, Reebok boxer underwear. And then that's this one. And the final thing at the very bottom of my pack is, my sleep system inside this inside here is uh all things sleep related so i have the cocoon mummy liner the silk liner yeah i got a gift card for rei when i re when i just recently retired from the military and i went ahead and got this i've been looking at getting it and the only color they had was white so I'm really gonna know how dirty I am after a couple days when after waking up every morning seeing how nasty white this silk liner is. But you know, I'll wash it every now and then. It's not like I've never been dirty before. So I, I went ahead and went with this uh, Cocoon uh, Mummy liner. I have the Giga Pump Air Pump thingamajig here. This was a luxury item that I decided to take with me. I have my lighting equipment booties because my feet just get cold and never get warm. So I'm gonna use these when I'm sleeping. My little, I think this is the, this, the arrows pillow, the two ounce pillow that a lot of people carry. And then I have my lighting equipment revelation 10 degree bag with the straps. Also, after getting some advice on my last videos, I went ahead and added this pack liner. Got it off of Garage Gear. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that because, although I think my gear is pretty good with inside the, the pods, which are uh, DCF and seam sealed, etc., and then inside my bag. Better safe than sorry, because I do definitely don't want to be cold and wet. I can be cold and I can be wet, but I don't want to be cold and wet. So I'm gonna carry this this uh, bag liner and weighs next to nothing. I think I got a pack of two over like four dollars on a uh, on garage gear. All right, all right. Moving on, moving on to what I'll be wearing when I'm actually hiking. So I have a the Melisana beanie, and then I'm gonna bring this hat. So depending on the weather, I'll probably start off with a beanie and end up switching to this hat. It's just a, you know, kind of a lightweight little trucker's hat from my favorite team in the world. I have these Dirty Girl um, Gators on my last, uh, sh you know, little Shaketown hike I did in Missouri. It was the first time I ever wore gators. To be honest, I didn't even know what they were until I started <laughs> looking into my hike a couple years ago. I've got these, they work great. Kept everything out on my shoes. They attach uh, nicely to the Ultimas. And again, I just went with a little bit of color just to spice things up a little bit. Just a general pair of sunglasses that I'll be carrying slash wearing with me. And then I went with the Ultra 
Ultra Temp 3s. The difference between these and the other uh, Ultras that most people use is these have, I think, four, four millimeter or five millimeter more cushion. They're still zero drop, but I've had, I have problems with my heels just from, I think, from wearing um, combat boots for so long and uh, not taking care of my feet like I should have when I was younger. So I went, went ahead with this little bit more cushion here and uh, my feet have been fine on all my, I probably have 100 miles in these. I mean, not anything crazy, but I've never had any foot pain. I had the, the regular just muscle pain of hiking bigger miles because I've done a 23 mile day in these, but my feet were fine. No blisters, no hot spots, no heel pain. So I'm gonna go with these. And I just switched them out with these uh, little, little lock laces. <laughs> I don't think it saves any weight, but I wanted to uh, make things a, a little, little bit more convenient. And I do kind of like how these stretch a little bit and give a little bit on the top of your feet uh, when hiking. So that's what I'm wearing. Along, obviously, also I have this uh, the outdoor research hoodie on. All right, so that that's my gear list. I'm gonna show this photo of the layout of my gear here. If you want to go more in depth, also uh, put links to my uh, specific gear areas uh, down in the description page. If you want to get any more information about my sleep system, or my clothing system, etc. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Again, you should see my daily uh, trail video starting like around the 18th or 19th of February. And um, you know, if you're like my brother, you just want to see. How, how bad I want to be suffering and freezing to death or so, so my, my wife who just wants to see what I'm doing on a daily basis or you just want to get some information about uh, hiking, please subscribe. I think uh, you'll be entertained by my videos. So, uh, until about three weeks from now, please uh, like, subscribe and leave a comment and thanks for watching.